Tasker now makes it easier to access arrays and structured variables. Let me show you. First, I'll create a variable called apps, which will contain some JSON. Let's just set the JSON here. And as you can see, it's a JSON structure that has several fields for each app. It has the P, which is a package name, the N, uh, the, the name of the app, and some more. Now, I know this is JSON, so in a task, let's access that with a flash. And instead of just clicking apps, long click it, and this shows up. Now I get several options to make it easier to access all of these. So the first one, JSON, get value from JSON structure, that it's what we want right now. And now I can set the key name I want to access, and that is N, which is the name of the app. And I want to get multiple apps, so I want to get all of them, so select multiple. And then for all the, the apps, I want to join all the elements with a given character. In this case, I want to so, uh, join them with a new line, so each name appears on a, a new line. Okay, And this generates the expression for me, so I don't have to remember this part or this part. It, all, it does it all for me. You can, of course, write it manually, but it, this is much easier. So if I run this, there it goes. All of my apps, each in a single line. And as you can see, you, ha you can access, let's try another thing, like for example, P, the package name, and then get multiple, and then use one of these other array functions. For example, let's use the, the count to see how many apps there, are, there is in this JSON. So if I just use this, 30 apps. So now it's much easier to not have to remember all of the different functions to, ac to access variables because it's right there in a the helper. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.